Hey, come on, where's there a photo of me? <laughs> I think, is that you up there? Hey? The, is that you in the top left corner there? Somewhere? <laughs> oh, there, right there. <laughs> <laughs> that is Andy Ellis. <laughs> oh! Right, we thought we'd bring a bit of uh, gravitas to the front row show, so uh, I'd like to welcome Sean Fitzpatrick. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> Rugby royalty. It's a good day. Thank you. Very good. Good day. This is the first time we've actually had two people in the show that are older than the truck. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. What year is this? 1969. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. So, we've got Ireland. You know, as a holder of the an Irish passport. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I have. Yes. Yeah. Tell us what's going to happen tomorrow. I actually used my New Zealand passport this weekend. Oh, yeah, it's Ooh. good. If we play well, and what I'm so pleased that we have picked a 23 um, from the 33. So we had everyone basically fit and available. And I said you know, weeks ago that for us to have any chance in the quarterfinals, we needed everyone available because um, we're playing a seriously good team. I like how we've been, we feel like, almost an underdog sort of style. And you know the boys have had a great week. Stace has been out at the, um, the press and watched them train. They are, you feel like they're quietly confident and they do have something to prove. Like, do you, do you think it's a good I, thing? I, 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 I can I just from the, what I'm seeing coming out of the camp. I really like it. I like what they've done in the last few games. I like what they did to Italy. Um, and I just like their manner, the way they're going about it. They're not talking too much. How do you think the All Blacks are going to beat this Irish team? Because they're playing some good footy at the moment. So for us to beat, beat the Irish, we've got to compete. Um, limit our penalties, of any, um, and just build pressure. Because mm. uh, they, they're like any team. When they're under pressure, um, you know, it's going to take a long time. But, you know, they can, they can crack. This is the quarter final of the World Cup. You lose, you're going home. And we know we've got enough guys that have been there in this situation. We've got enough guys in that team that have won World Cups. Yeah. So I think we, we know more than they do about playing in this environment. When the All Blacks won the World Cup in 2015, there was a crowd of people outside waiting for players to get on the bus, you know, after the game. Now, there was about a thousand Kiwis there. It was really emotional. And right in the middle of that fan group was Fitzy. Like with everyone else, no one really noticed who it was, but you were just like yeah. a fan screaming yeah. and yelling. I am, I'm, I'm, a, I'm such a fan uh, of the All Blacks. Yeah, sport in general, but, you know, being in a World Cup, into every World Cup, as a player or as a, as a spectator, fan. Well, you're a massive part of that legacy, and I know yeah. that that's what the current group tap into the past yeah. a lot, you know, and so it's, it's cool. Yeah, which, which is really cool. I, I saw them when they arrived in London, and I did something with the, the hookers, the three hookers. And I walked away thinking, God, this is cool. <laughs> you know, the three of them are trying to help each other. Yeah, mate. Fitzy, you're a great old black, good man. Thank you for joining us in the truck. Thank you, and, and just tell everyone there was no coffee. <laughs> There was no coffee. I was so disappointed. George. George. Where is George back? Oh, yeah. Where is that man? It's a prop, mate. Like it's like it's television. <laughs> 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 <laughs>